Good evening and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. It's Miriam again and tonight I'm going to share with you this ph phenomenal recipe for beef stew. Um, I used a beef stew in some calzones the other night and one of my fellow uh, cooking show hosts, Lindsay from Charmed on YouTube, uh, suggested I put the recipe on YouTube and so here I'm going to put it on YouTube. It's just a phenomenal recipe. So I've got my pan ready to go. It's nice and hot on my stove and here I have my two cups of um, eye of round beef that I cut off a round roast and the trick to this um, beef stew is the Italian sausage, hot Italian sausage. One. In they go in the pot. So now what I need to do now is I'm just going to saute the beef and the sausage together in the pan Whoops. until they're uh, braised and brown. So what I'll do while that's browning, I'm going to just get my, my vegetables ready, but I really should wash my hands. Give me two seconds. Here I am to the side washing my hands. There we go. Okay. Beef is in. Sausage is in. Wash my hands. So now I've got my onions sitting here on the board. We're going to use one whole onion. I just peeled it and I'm going to use big chunks for my onion. They not small dice at all. So here's the size of my onion. Really large. So that's to one side. Nice big chunks. I have, I'm going to use two carrots tonight. I've got one carrot already peeled and the second carrot is um, just waiting to be peeled. Of course, like in every other recipe that I show you or that I share with you, you can really um, add as many or as little of the ingredients as you want. Because if you just happen to like carrots better than celery, well, go ahead and add more carrots and leave out, leave out the celery. That's okay. So we have two carrots ready to go. And again, for stew, you really do like to have it in uh, big chunks rather than small chunks. So I'm just going to cut these in about the same size as the onion. I'm going to give my, my beef a little... A little stir. And I do want that to come up to a nice brown in my pan. I've got two stalks of celery. Same thing, big chunks. I've already washed these, of course. I've washed them before so I can have them ready for you. Big chunks. Now, I also have ready, I have one sprig of my rosemary out of my garden. I have still some time left. Can you believe that? So I'm going to put time in the stew, but I'm also going to put time in the dumplings that go on top of the stew. I'll show you that. And um, this is coming along nicely, browning nicely. And I've got one clove of garlic as well, which I'd like to put in the mixture today. Now this garlic happens to have come from one of the islands off the coast of uh, Vancouver here. And we, we happened to be there for a weekend and they were having a market garden so I got all this beautiful um, organic garlic. Uh, and I brought a whole great big bag full of it and it's just delightful. Again, big chunks again. So now, in this pan, this is nicely coming together, nice and hot. Now, what I'm going to do here is just throw in my onions first. And I'm going to braise and saute, saute my onions actually. And they're going to come up to a real nice brown as well. Now, while that's working away, I'm going to also put in my, my clove of garlic. Now, while that's working away, we also want to add some fluid, of course. So I'm going to have one cup of um, diced tomatoes, one cup of beef broth is going to go in, and of course I'm going to definitely deglaze with some red wine. It's, it's a must for sure. So while this is go, um, browning on my stove here, 
taking, uh, it takes a while. You have to, you can't rush it really. So I've got all my herbs ready. I've got my fluids ready. I also have a cup, uh, half a cup of water that I want to use. But while we're waiting, I'm going to just make the dumplings that are going to go on top of the stew. So what I do is I put it all together. I'll show you the procedure. And then I cook it on the stove top for about 30 minutes. It's got lots of fluid, which you need if you're going to use dumplings. So then, I, um, after 30 minutes, I put the dumplings in and I cook it for about 10, 10 more minutes. So in this bowl, I have here uh, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, some salt, and now I'm going to add some of that beautiful fresh thyme that came out of the garden. And I'm going to add just um, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So just dry, any dry herbs you have at home will do for sure. So I'm going to mix that up. And to that, I'm going to add the milk. So I have actually just short of a cup of milk here. I know I'm not going to eat all of it, but this is how easy it is to make dumplings. Seriously. So it's, you mix it together till it just comes together. Look at that. See, it's just come together kind of into a ball, and that's good enough. So we're going to leave that, and after, we're going to um, spoon that into our stew. And I'll show you how to do that after. All right, the stew is coming all nicely. Now, at this point, I want to add my two tablespoons of flour, because that's going to help thicken. So just all put this flour. One, two tablespoons of flour. You mix that in till it absorbs all that beautiful liquid from the sausage and from the beef. Now, I'm going to deglaze, so about a cup of wine, a cup of red wine. So, you want to let that deglaze. Mm, it's, already, it's already smelling divine. To that, I'm going to add pepper. Now, I don't add salt to my stews, not till later on. At the very end, uh, you can add salt. But right now, you just, I caution you. I, I caution you for adding salt because it just, you could add too much salt and ruin your stew. So, red wine I've deglazed. My one cup of tomatoes, diced tomatoes goes in. My half a cup of uh, water goes in. My one cup of beef broth. And it goes and... Here, this is where I add my sprig of rosemary, so that just goes, pops in. Now, what I've also done, I have these delicious dehydrated mushrooms, four types of mushrooms dehydrated, and I've rinsed them really well, and I've dehydrated them with about a cup of water. So I'm going to put in a cup of mushrooms, dehydrated ones, now that they're reconstituted with the fluid right in. Now, to that, I'm going to add my celery, my carrots, and potatoes. Where are my potatoes? Just a sec. I forgot the potatoes. Just hold on here. And to that, you want to add your potatoes. I'm going to add three new potatoes. And they're washed and ready to go. So again, big chunks. Just cut them into quarters. Throw them in. Perfect. And I'm going to add also to this some fresh thyme. Isn't that wonderful that I can still get it in the garden? Carl always goes outside and gets me the, the herbs when it's dark outside because I don't want both. So the thyme goes in, rosemary goes in, and I have some bay leaves here from my sister's garden in Machosen, in just outside of Victoria. This is up from her garden. So I'm going to throw in two bay leaves. In they go. And what else is there? Is that it? I think that's it. Stir that up. And I'll just kind of show you what it looks like now. Um, because I have one on the stove and the, my sons are going to be so thrilled. So that's what the stew looks like right now. It's not cooked. It's just going to be cooked. But here on the stove, I have... One that's ready to go. I'm just going to move these around and I'll show you the results. So what I've done to this one, it went on for 30 minutes on the stove and then I put the dumplings in and it was perfect. 
So I must show you this. Hmm. All right, so I just need another spoon just to divide the, the dumplings. Okay, there is the dumpling. Isn't that great? And then you dig down deep and you get some of the um, some of the beef stew, which is uh, so, oh my goodness. There we go. And your dumplings go on top. So there we have my very famous and delicious beef stew. And really, this is an amazingly fast meal. And I think the trick to this stew is the Italian sausage and the dehydrated mushrooms, which actually, they're wild mushrooms, and they come in a container like this, and you, you dehydrate them first and then use them. It uh, gives your stews an amazing, an amazing flavor. So I hope you enjoy this recipe, because it is, it's delicious to die for. And here we go with a glass of your perfect red wine and your stew, you're ready to go. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered, and I'm off for dinner. See you later. Bye-bye.